Well, hello, Africa. My name is Rosie Muthena. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Today, I am dedicating this vlog to my autobiography, which is called Reclaiming Soil. And the details of this book are about my upbringing. In short, I was brought up by my mother's employees. My mother was a domestic worker during the apartheid era and her white Jewish employers brought me up as their own, which brought about a lot of many wonderful opportunities, opportunities that I will be eternally grateful for. But it also brought about a lot of sacrifices from both sides of the family. Uh, sacrifices that the foster family had to go against the grain, go against the law, because it was illegal and very different for a white family to be bringing up this black child, especially during the apartheid era. And the sacrifices from my biological family side, where I wasn't taught my tradition, culture, uh, language, heritage. And um, that in itself is, is, is difficult to comprehend, but it's also something that I only came to realize the impact of it and also the importance of knowing who you are knowing where you come from, what language you speak, what your language means. You know, in my late 30s, did I really discover and understand the importance of what a language means? And so I embarked on this journey, which started out from a place of incredible pain and emotional wreck. And... Um, you know, it was from advice from my counsellors telling me that, you know, just write your story, put it down, get it out there. And when I mean get it out there, it's get it out of your chest and get it out of your head. And the more you do that, the more I realised that there were so many wounds and so many pains that I hadn't dealt with and some that I'd started to deal with and then just suppressed. And the problem with not dealing with emotion or pain or trauma or stress is that it doesn't go away, it just spreads. So PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, leads to all sorts of other illnesses such as depression, anxiety. Uh, I mentioned before in my other vlogs the um, why, why healing and therapy is so important because it can ultimately ultimately lead to, to suicide, as we've seen, of, 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 of young girls and women and, and, and survivors who just got to the point where they couldn't handle the turmoil anymore. And so with, with me starting to write my story down and starting to deal with my pain, I realized that there was so much more that I hadn't dealt with and I had suppressed and just covered up. And when you go to that core and you go to that pain, it's like it's a cold void. And so I had to stop writing for a while and deal with that and try and get that healing and try and bring about forgiveness and then forgive myself. And so the writing of the book took 10 years. Um, even after it was completed, I sat with it for about, hmm, I'd say, two and a half years. Uh, partly because certain people didn't want me to publish the book. And then, of course, I, I doubted myself. And then I felt that I wasn't strong enough to, to deal with the criticism, comments, and so forth that will come with it. Because when you're telling your story, you're bearing your soul. And some people might find it uncomfortable. Some people might find healing within that. Some people might are on the are on the are in the belief that that you know you shouldn't talk about your past, you shouldn't talk about your your pain, and I'm I totally disagree with that. And so, with this book, I hope that many do read it. I hope that it can resonate with people because I deal with many themes. The number one, the obvious theme is that of identity and the importance of teaching your children their tradition, their culture, their creed, where they come from, what their surname means, what the, 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 the power behind language. 
hence the name of my soil, reclaim you know, the name of my book, Reclaiming the Soil, because in my late 30s, I went home, um, although I knew where my parents were in Forgain, I went home and I lived with them, and I never lived in under the same roof as my biological parents in their home in Forgain. And understanding how to relearn my African identity, I had to reclaim that identity, hence me reclaiming that soil. Um, and the other themes that I deal with is abuse, of how I've come out of an abusive situation, abusive relationship, how I found healing through a wonderful organization through power, and how I turned that healing to trying to heal other people and create awareness around abuse by using my voice. And during that process, understanding the power of one's voice and why people want to suppress so many people and, and, and women and survivors, because there's truth in that power. There's truth in using that voice and the message that comes out. I deal with inter, inter uh, faith adoption, uh, my, my, my conversion to Judaism and my, my journey in Judaism, which ironically now has taken a major turn, which will be my second book, so I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'm still in the fetal stage of, 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 of my new journey um, uh, with God. But, but going back to my book, it's... It, it, it deals with issues that a lot of us don't want to deal with. It deals with abortion. It deals with depression, drugs and alcohol, and facing your truths. But also it deals with victory, of overcoming this, of love, of laughter, the importance of friends, the importance of having the right people in your life. And yes, it's brought criticism, but it's also brought wonderful accolades, such as my first very own award. I won the award at the African Authors Awards um, in, the, in the category of, 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 of cultural books. And I'd like to obviously thank the, the organizers for that, but also to salute Anthea, the lady who's behind it, and Barbara, because of them noticing and knowing the importance of pushing the African narrative. For centuries, people have been telling our stories, telling us how we need to behave. We need to reclaim that. At the end of the day, Africa, oh, Africa's hot, Africa's sexy, and it's time for us to reclaim our kingdom and queendom, step back onto those thrones. So once again, thank you very much to the authors, and, I mean to the organizers of the African Authors Award, and to all the people that I've mentioned in this book, there are many for the journey. Some of it hasn't been great, some of it has been phenomenal. But remember, you have the right to tell your story your way. At the end of the day, it's your narrative. And moving forward, one of the most important narratives that we need to tell is that of the African narrative. If you want more information on how to get the book, please go to my website, rosymathena.biz. It will be on Amazon. It is available uh, at exclusive books online. It is available at African flavor bookstores. Otherwise, pop me an email, rosie at rosiewithena.biz. Thanks for watching. See you soon.